Tonight we're going to take a look at a RAID issue on my VZilla server. This is a ASRock motherboard, a Core i7 machine, and I'm rebooting it now. And the first thing we're going to need to do is get into the LSI 9265 BIOS. How do we do that on this particular machine? You want to hit Control H at the right spot, which is coming up shortly here. And right now you're looking at the BIOS of the LSI PCI device. It's looking for the drives. And uh, I was rebooting tonight and noticed an issue that I've been meaning to resolve for a while here. So I hit Control H, and then I want to hit F11 for the boot menu. Okay, this gives me the ability to choose the RAID controller from the list of target devices. Right there, RAID. Hit enter, and now we're into web bias is what LSI calls it. Hit enter again to start. There's only one 9265 there. And there we go, PD missing backplane. What is this? Well, let's have a look. There's an article from 2011 all about this. And uh, they show that exact message. And they basically say, go to physical view and unconfigure bad, change it unconfigured good. Okay, so let's, let's give that a try. You can barely see the cursor moving along here, but physical view is now highlighted. I tab my way past exit, and I'm on the back plane screen. And there's our problem. We want to go to slot zero and hit enter. Okay. And tab. Spacebar there, the radio button. Make unconfig good. And now hit enter on the go button. If you have mouse control, of course, this would be a little easier. How about replace missing PD? Remember it said that? So that's one of the options. If you look carefully near the bottom there, you'll see it. There you go. I hit enter on go. Let's go back. And this is the screen we really want to see. Offline. So we're getting closer. Okay, hit enter on the suspect drive. And now tab your way or hit Alt M, which I can't do because of the way I'm remotely controlling here, but Alt M will do it. It says make online, tab our way to go, hit enter on go or click on it with your mouse if you're in front of the machine, and may result in data corruption. Well, interesting it's saying that. This drive has been uh, offline for a bit. The RAID array already rebuilt itself. Um, so, not quite sure why it's saying corruption. I have backups. I'm not particularly worried about it. Um, I do have solid state caching enabled too. So, yeah, just not quite sure why it said that. Let's go back. And that's looking good. Optimal is the word we wanted to hear. Interesting, it doesn't even show as some sort of rebuild underway. So that implies the drive was just detached at some point, and like the blog post talked about in 2011, the person just unattached the cable. So this scenario seems to have replicated that success um, with bringing a drive back online uneventfully without data loss or extensive uh, rebuild time. And now as we exit this user interface, we're able to issue control delete and watch it reboot. And we should see that the RAID array is healthy. And at that point, we're ready to just let ESXi come on up. Here's the drum roll moment. Firmware initializing. So the OSI 
microcode is springing to life here and booting and looking at the health of my RAID array, and we should see a nice happy drive. And there's no issues. Um, one virtual drive found, and no BIOS enabled. I don't normally need to boot from that. And then the machine just continues to boot ESXi 5.5 in my case. So there you have it, a look at coping with accidental drive disconnection and recovering without any data loss. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and for visiting tinkertry.com.